Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do another video and this time it's on when to expect your first frost this year, 2017. So first off, we need to look at the average date of first freeze or first frost. And you could see there's a bunch of dates and it's not really linear at all. It's very rugged and it's kind of hard to decode. But Idaho... Yellowstone and northern Montana, northern North Dakota and Minnesota, and parts of Wisconsin and UP of Michigan is around September 15th, along with northern Maine. Then, October 1st, much of South Dakota, Minnesota, parts of Wisconsin, most of Michigan, and um, most of Maine, and in the upstate New York and the Appalachian Mountains in West Virginia and Pennsylvania and Denver, Colorado, and the mountains there. And then we have October 15th, which is rest of uh, Colorado, rest of Utah, parts of uh, New Mexico, uh, Texas, Kansas, the whole Nebraska, whole Iowa, half of Illinois, half of Indiana, rest of Michigan, rest of Wisconsin, rest of Minnesota, whole Ohio almost, a whole West Virginia, um, and parts of Pennsylvania, New York, and I think Boston's qualified in there. And then November 1st, which is Kansas, Missouri, Southern Illinois, Ken uh, and Kentucky, Tennessee, and, and so on and so forth. And you could see September, November 15th, the rest of the states are highlighted. And then here, there's no frost because, there, I mean, obviously it does, sometimes frost does get into Dallas, but it's usually around January and February. So we're not really going to do that because that's pretty much already winter. But I will include Dallas in this forecast. So if we already looked at the average first frost date, we need to look at who or we need to look at if this is going to be a below average temperature fall or it's going to be above average for temperatures during this fall. And we're going to look at some big weather corporations and what they're saying. Again, NOAA is not a very trusty source, but I'm still going to use it because it's a very big weather corporation and sometimes it, it does have some right truth. So for September, October, November, October, November, and December 2017, this is how it looks like. Warm across the whole country, warm across the whole country. So what pretty much, pretty much what we're getting from NOAA is above average for the whole fall. But again, that's not definitely correct. And then for, let's look at the weather channel. They're saying that Near or slightly below average for the Midwest and parts of the Northeast, excluding Boston, Kentucky, Rhode Island, and parts of Vermont and New Hampshire. And then near or slightly above average for the rest of the United States, and then just above average in the Four Corner States area over there. Now let's look at AccuWeather. They're saying warm across the Northeast, so it's contradicting with the Weather Channel, but it's going along with the, um, with the NOAA. And then... It doesn't show any uh, temperature in the southeast. It just shows the uh, uh, the precipitation. Then late chilly shots for the Midwest, so a cooler than average. Drought persists, doesn't show the temperature warm in the northwest, dry and warm in the west. And um, late snow, so probably around average in the mountains. But then we got to look at something that's happening this year. It happens during a lot of years, but this year it's been happening especially. There has been a lot, and I mean a lot of cold shots already. There's some nights where it got down to 39 in the outskirts of Chicago, in the suburbs of Chicago. And this is, I think, for September 15th. And this is, um, you could see, this is during the night, almost frost during uh, in the Chicago area. Probably It'll probably change to, to some frost in the UP because they already had frost in the UP. So running already above average. Uh, below average pr uh, temperatures in the UP of Michigan and pretty much for the whole Midwest it's running below average as of now but that could still change so this is my final fr first frost outlook for this year and you could see the blue it's kind of a really sloppy map but it's the best I could do guys so I'm sorry but you'll need to hang on with me here so you could see in this blue line Idaho Montana Upper North Dakota, Upper Minnesota, and the UP of Michigan, some parts of Michigan, and Northern Caribou, Northern Maine. And that's pr pretty much present, or it already happened, the frost, up to one week from now. It's going to happen. And then I think, in general, the consensus is that the, 
that the um, frost, first frost dates are going to be running above average. So they're going to be running a little bit earlier ahead of schedule. So I think September 25th through 30th is when there's going to be frost across Wyoming, Nebraska, the, pretty much the upper plains, parts of the Midwest, and inner Northeast. And then October 1st through 15th, which is about average for this area, but a little bit slightly above below uh, below average temperatures for the parts of Midwest, the Mid-Atlantic region, and the Northeast, and also Utah, then uh, Colorado, and parts of the mountains in the Washington and Oregon. Also, October fifteenth through twenty fifth. Rest of the states that are part of the Midwest, the all getting into the Southeast, the Mid Atlantic, rest of the Mid Atlantic states, and New Jersey, New York, states like that are gonna. I mean, cities like New York City is gonna be in it. Tennessee, Oklahoma, Northern Texas, the Panhandle, Northern New Mexico, Arizona, and then November tenth, around average for this, for for these here in the. In the, wet, in the really south and west because I think it's going to be above average for the first four sections because winter's going to come, uh, fall, fall cold temperatures are going to come in fast, but then it's going to slow down as it uh, as it co continues on in the winter. So I think the south is going to be about average. And then the, these states, these parts of the states that are not included are probably just going to be in January or February or might not even have in some of these parts. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you have a better look for who's going to get a first frost. So I think this year it's going to be quicker than usual pretty much for everyone. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode.